New for you tonight at 5, a trial date is officially on the calendar for Atlanta rapper Young Thug and 27 others indicted on gang-related charges. <laughs> gun and shit. One last time for all the stupid ass people in the back. I made a video about gun and telling and people got to comment and talking about where's the paperwork. <laughs> Them the type of people right there y'all gotta stay away from. Y'all know y'all ain't never spent a minute in the streets. Why was a Rico made? Why we gonna take this step by step? What is a RICO? We hear it in rap songs and now we've been saying it, but we want to tell you what it means. It stands for racketeer influenced and corrupt organizations. It started out as a federal law, mainly targeting the mafia back in the day. But now almost all states, including Georgia, have adopted similar state RICO laws. It focuses on organized crime and only requires the state to prove that some group of people are committing a pattern of crimes. Why was a RICO made? Okay. RICO was a federal law that was invented to go after the mafia. RICO was made so not only can you go after the people that were shooting and, and committing the crimes, but you can go after the head of the, of the mafia as well. Later on, um, all, a lot of cities and states adopted the, the RICO Act and it became a state charge instead of a, RICO, instead of a federal charge. And there, the state intent was to try to do away with gangs. Now, in the state RICO, they put a RICO on you so that, and so not only they can get the shooters and the trigger men, but they can go after the head of the gang. In this case, this YSL case, who was they trying to say is the head of the gang? Thugger. Y'all heard the video before the intro. They all have gang charges. So for Gunner to go in front of the judge and admit that YSL is a gang, that went on and gave the police all the information, all the evidence they needed to go ahead and push forward with this RICO charge on Young Thug. Now, I done been in jail before. I mean, it ain't, it ain't nothing I'm bragging about, but it's the truth. I done been in jail. I done went through this whole court system and all that several times. If you have a case, let's say you got a gun case and they trying to give you five years and the state offer you a deal because it was more than one person in the car probably and they don't know who the hell gun it was. All right, look, you can get five years for this gun. We'll give you a plea right now. You take this year and a half, do two and a half years probation, boom, case over. The plea that Gunner took is not, it's a, it's not like a plea I've ever seen in my life. Not only did you take the plea and you're going you to be on probation, but you stood in front of the judge and answered yes or no to questions that could help lock up everybody else that's still on that case. This man said he got information that these people committed crimes. This man said YSL is a street gang and that the gang must come to an end. The judge asked him, was that, was that his words? And he said, yes. Now I'm gonna play that video for y'all. Please state after each statement whether or not you agree or acknowledge that the statements are true. Yes, ma'am. I became affiliated with YSL around 2016. Is that true as it pertains to you, Mr. Kitchens? Yes, ma'am. YSL is a music label and a game, and you have personal knowledge that members or associates of YSL have committed crimes in furtherance of the game. Yes, ma'am. You were present when law enforcement officers stopped the vehicle in which you were present along with Jeffrey Williams, wherein hydrocodone, methamphetamines, and a firearm were recovered. Do 
these items did not belong to you? Yes, ma'am. And do you acknowledge the following statement? I recognize, accept, and deeply regret that my talent and music indirectly furthered YSL the game to the detriment of my community. YSL as a game must end. Is that your statement or acknowledgement? Yes. Like, you see, this is every man for they self, man. That's what Gunner is showing us. Every man for they self. You hear what they said in the video? If called to court, he will testify truthfully. The guilty plea entered as what's called an Alford plea, where a defendant doesn't admit he committed the crime, but acknowledges it's in his best interest to plead guilty. If called by any party in this case, you will testify truthfully, but reserve any Fifth Amendment rights or privileges against self-incrimination. He will testify truthfully, but can plead the Fifth to anything that may incriminate him, that may incriminate Gunner, nobody else. This statement that he gave to the judge, best believe this will be in a Young Thug's paperwork. That man finna be all in Thug of paperwork and y'all trying to say he ain't told. That man told, man. He told. It's new. If Thugger is going in front of this judge saying, YSL is a record label, not a game. If Young Thug is bringing up businessmen to say how they're business partners with him and they helped him start YSL, the record label, why would you come behind that and say, nah, it's a game. I got proof it's a game. I got proof of criminal acts they did and that game got to be stopped. That's not telling to y'all. Now I'm going to play the video of the DA. Her whole purpose is of cracking down on Thug and all these other people is what? What does she talk about? Gangs. She don't want gangs in her city. She don't want gangs in her state. Gangs, gangs, gangs. That's what she's cracking down on. Today, I'm joined by the Atlanta Police Chief, Chief Rodney Bryan, as well as my sheriff and our sheriff, Sheriff Patrick Labatt. Um, we are here today about a grand jury indictment that was returned um, that included not just Jeffrey Williams, which is of some notoriety and media attention, but about 28 defendants that operated within our community between the time period of 2012 and 2022. Um, it is our allegation that they operated as a criminal street gang and commenced to do havoc in our community. That havoc includes um, crimes of violence, um, crimes of thefts, crimes involving drugs. I've made no secret about it, nor any apology, that as the district attorney of Fulton County, my number one focus is targeting gangs. So for y'all, Gunna and the other people that did it too, because it wasn't just Gunna, it was more than one person that told. But if you know, they had Gunna as second in command. So other than Thugger, you want, you're the highest up, bro. You're the biggest name in the case that they got to flip. So if y'all don't think that man told, y'all the niggas that be in the hood hanging around snitches. Y'all be the niggas that hang with niggas that told because they got a little bit of money or because they a shooter and y'all some bitch ass niggas and y'all feel safer around them or because they the weed man and they roll up woods all day and night and your broke ass ain't got no money to get your own weed. So y'all niggas be okay with niggas snitching. You the viewer. Imagine if you and three of your friends went out and did a crime. And y'all all got caught. And three of the dudes is like, man, hey, we finna take this shit to trial, bro. They ain't really got no evidence, bro. We, we finna beat this. And that fourth guy take the plea. Yeah, I'm gonna take a plea. We guilty. I acknowledge that we're guilty of what you're saying we're guilty of. So now they make it harder for the other three. They take it to trial. Well, how are y'all taking this to trial when y'all other buddy admitted his guilt? He admitted that he was wrong. So if he was wrong, y'all had to be wrong because y'all was fucking with him. Gunner should have never took that plea. What happened to... Take it to trial. Take it to trial. What happened to take it to trial, Gunner? Everybody talks so crazy about Thugger and these dresses and this, that, and the third. He seemed like he probably the most solidest nigga on the case right now. If you don't think that man told, man, 
unsubscribe to my channel. Don't even watch, don't even finish watching the video. Y'all seen the thumbnail? Yes, I said Gunner's a rat. Don't even watch the video, man. Now, before I get out of here, I'm gonna play this video from Charleston White, man. People are having fun with this man. They're joking on this man. He's a laughing stock because he told. Gunner, yeah, this y'all, yeah, I don't give a fuck what Gunner said, nigga. If four niggas get in trouble, four of us get in trouble. Listen to me. One nigga wanna go to trial. Right? Think about this. Four of us say, come on, y'all. Let's go to the mall and steal starter jackets. Everybody say, okay. Three niggas go in the mall and steal the starter jackets. They run out. One nigga pulls the trigger and kills somebody in the process of them stealing starter jackets. Three niggas say, hey, they offered me this. I think you should take it. I'm going to take it. One nigga say, he, the shooter say, I'm going to try out. The other three niggas take the plea bargain. The shooter say, I'm going to try out. Well, the other three told just by taking the plea bargain. Because you done, you done self snitched. You done snitched on yourself, which is snitching on me. By you snitching on me, by you snitching on yourself, you snitching on me. Because now you agreeing to what these people saying we done done, nigga. You done got your tough talking, rapping ass in this situation with me, nigga. I, th I thought we was YSL. I thought we would shoot them up, bang, bang, kill them niggas, shoot them niggas. 